I think probably what happened when these ballads started to be uh, passed down from generation to generation, it, that probably happened in the old country over in Scotland and in uh, England. And it, it was like historical recitation, if you know what I mean. Like an event would take place and then they would write this big long song about it. And a lot of those songs that they sang over there came over here uh, because that was a part of home. One of the only connections that, that they still had with their history w was in these old songs. And so I, th I think that's why those big English and Scottish ballads that talk about places and people that my ancestors that lived here wouldn't have even known. I think they survived because that was such a part of their oral history and the oral tradition of passing down to the next generation. And a lot of it, you know, was kind of like watching TV today. I mean, what do you remember about the news today? I mean, it's always some sensationalized story about something that took place. So I think that kind of got established over there and then they just brought it over here with them, sort of like they brought their flowers with them flower seeds, same kind of thing. But the name of this tune is Dinah, and it's one of the first tunes that I learned when I started playing claw hammer banjo, as opposed to the Madison County Two Finger style.